right, good afternoon class. I am going to uh, talk about today different types of immunity. Um, so we've got two kind of broad categories and then two categories that fall under each. So we've got artificial um, versus natural immunity. Artificial immunity is when our bodies either develop or are given antibodies um, by an outside source. So it's not just a naturally acquired thing. Well, natural would be uh, acquired by the environment or something that isn't artificial. Um, so under each category, there's also active and passive immunity. Active immunity is when your body actively has to make the antibodies based on whether it's artificial or natural, but emphasis on our body is making their, their own antibodies. But passive is when the antibodies are actually what is given, whether it's an artificial process or a natural process. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, David. So what category would a vaccine be? <clears throat> so vaccines fall under the category of artificial active. So let's think about this. Um, vaccines are given to us so our body will produce antibodies. So it's artificially given, but then our bodies have to produce antibodies against whatever the pathogen that's given to us is. Um, while another example of a natural um, active process, or a, sorry, an artificial passive process would be um, immunoglobulin therapy. So this, in this case, we're still given something artificial, but the antibodies are actually already made in immunoglobulin therapy. So therefore it's a passive, but yet still artificial process. Yeah. Would infections be similar to that? Um, so if infections are actually naturally acquired. So when we get a virus or bacteria from the environment, um, we are not artificially getting that. No one's giving it to us on purpose. So we have to naturally um, develop antibodies against it. So an infection would be an active process. Um, on the other hand, a naturally passive process would be when children or when babies are um, breastfed, they naturally acquire um, uh, antibodies from their mom's breast milk. This is a natural process, but they're actually still getting already made antibodies. Does anybody else have any questions? Does anybody, everybody understand the idea of uh, immunity in the different categories? Awesome.